Good morning, everyone. The time, 8.48 a.m., going on 9 o'clock in the morning, October 21st, 2021. This story broke yesterday afternoon, and I was following this uh, story. I've been following it uh, from the beginning. Laundry family lawyer, the attorney, says it's likely that the remains found near the entrance to the Florida Nature Reserve belong to Brian and reveals his parents told the uh, cops to search that particular spot one month ago. But I want to make mention here before we go any further that that area one month ago was underwater due to uh, a lot of rain that had uh, uh, taken place over the last month or so in that area. And there's a picture here of uh, a lot of news media, the FBI that were on scene uh, yesterday. Attorney Brian is likely dead, and uh, if I can, bear with me for a moment, we'll go to the article, and I'll bring everyone up to date if you've been following this uh, uh, very, very disturbing, very, very sad uh, story. A young couple take off on a journey across country in uh, Gabby Petito's van, and he comes back alone on September 1st, and it's not until September 11th that uh, we find out that uh, um, Gabby, the parents don't know what happened to their daughter, and uh, uh, Brian Laundrie's parents lawyer up, and uh, not a word, not a word is uttered uh, by the Laundrie parents, and then their son comes up, uh, a person of interest, and uh, a credit card uh, uh, scandal. And let me take you to this story. Bear with me just for a moment. Boundary family lawyer says it's likely remains found in Florida belong to Brian and reveals they were discovered near the entrance to reserve where his parents told the cops to search a month ago. Well, I went way too far ahead of myself here. Uh... FBI specifically says that he's a person of interest in the murder of Gabby Petito. And as we know, if you've been following this case, uh, she was um, uh, the the manner of death. The homicide was uh, death by manual strangulation. Human remains have been found in the Carlton Reserve where Brian Laundry was feared uh, to be hiding. Partial remains were discovered along the back, along with a backpack that contained some of Laundrie's belongings. Laundrie family attorney Steve Bertolino said the belongings were found near a bridge uh, connecting to the uh, Makahachi Creek Environmental Park and adjoining Carlton Reserve. The park in Florida had been shut off to the public for nearly a month for the search. It reopened Tuesday. What I want to mention, though, they were in that area searching even though that area was underwater, not not six feet deep, I'm sure, just under water due to rain, but they were in all-terrain vehicles. They were in boats with underwater sonar um, and a body, a deceased body will float to the surface. So I'm wondering that none of this is making sense to me. I'm just giving you my opinion. The Laundries, uh, Roberta and Chris Laundry, Brian's parents, uh, day before yesterday were seen going to two AT&T stores. I guess the first AT&T store was closed and they went to the second and people are all over social media are making their, their armchair detectives are making uh, their own conclusions and some of the rumors flying around is uh, they were in contact with Brian all along and then they lost cell phone contact. That's when they wanted to go, since the uh, reserve was open, uh, at the uh, Makahachi uh, reserve was open, they wanted to get in touch with the uh, police to go search for Brian because maybe they haven't had contact with him. But now the human remains are partial human remains, not fully intact. So a lot of this is not making sense. A lot of this is just not adding up. And I'll leave it to you, the viewer, 
we've got a lot of unanswered questions, a lot of questions that uh, I sh certainly don't have the answer to. I just certainly don't have the answers. Uh, and we're going to have to wait. And, and the FBI is tight-lipped, so we're going to have to see how this all unfolds. I really am not certain. So that's the latest. That's what I have for you uh, this morning. And uh, I'll be back in just a little bit. And God bless you all. And uh, I don't know, leave me your comments. It's very, um, will the FBI make a positive ID today? I believe they will. But a lot of this, is, it's real life. It's not a, a murder mystery made for television, but I'm, I wonder will they make a series out of this? I, I hope, but the Petito family will have some type of closure now, but uh, will they? Will they? And, you know, all, all I can say is our thoughts and prayers for all the family involved. The, the, this is their son. This is their daughter. And say what you will, these are human beings, and this is human lives, and uh, emotions run run thick and run wild, and all we can do is not judge, just pray. Just pray for them, that peace will fall upon them, that surpasses all understanding, and uh, it's not for us to judge. God bless you today. Leave me comments.